Let me catch you all up on this little story of ours. A couple of months ago, I got a message on Facebook from a guy named Joel in Liberia. He said that he was in need of some financial assistance and asked me to send him some premium electronics. He said that he would sell these on the Liberian market and then split the profits with me. Now I figured that this was just one of those African internet scams, but I decided to play along and see where it led me. I figured the more time of his that I could waste, the less time that he'd have to spend ripping other people off. So I told him that I didn't have any electronics to send, but I did have a business proposition if he was interested. I told him that I was in the photography business and that if he'd be willing to take pictures of where he lived and send them to me, I'd pay him for the ones that I liked. He agreed and the next morning he sent a few over. And they were just terrible. The guy had to be using a 15 year old flip phone or worse, but I was surprised to see him actually try. He mentioned repeatedly that he was looking for God's favor through someone and that he believed that person was me. So I thought I would invest a little bit of money in this guy to see if he was scamming me or if he was seriously trying to improve his situation. So I mailed him a $30 camera and told him to take some more pictures with it. Well, the pictures were a little better quality, but they still sucked. So I said to him that if he wanted to make money taking pictures, he needed to practice. He needed to hold the camera still and make sure his subject had plenty of light. And would you believe that he actually improved? I mean, some of his pictures were just stunning. They really show the beauty and difficulties of living in Liberia. So then I had to figure out how I was going to compensate Joel for his work. So I put together a photo book of his very best pictures and launched an Indiegogo campaign. I was blown away at the response. People from all over the world came to support Joel and purchase his book. This is your chance to make a real difference. In total, we sold nearly 1,000 copies in 40 different countries. I made a promise to Joel that we'd split the profits 50-50 and that my half would go to charity. So I wrote to Joel and said that I wanted to give my portion to the people of Liberia and asked if there was anything in his community that I could help with. He said that there were a lot of children that were in need because their parents were so poor. So I asked, how can we help the children? And he said, school materials, stationery, book bags, and chairs. These are the things that children suffer for the most. He said that we should start by targeting the youngest 100 kids and that it would cost me about $500. I thought, this is where we're really going to find out what Joel's made out of. Either he's going to use that money for the kids, or he's going to keep it for himself. But I still owed him money, so I decided to move forward and see what happened. So I got back onto Western Union's website to transfer the money, and my payment was declined. Apparently my bank thought that someone had hacked into my account and was sending all of my money to Liberia. So I called them to tell them that it was in fact me, but they were closed for Columbus Day. So I went to an ATM and withdrew $500 cash. And I walked to the nearest Western Union teller to wire it the old-fashioned way. This ended up being one of the strangest moments of my life. Imagine standing there in a crowded Rite Aid at a Western Union kiosk asking if you could wire $500 to a guy named Joel in Liberia. Well, I was pleased to know that the money did go through and that Joel was able to pick it up. Because what happened next was incredible. Joel took a trip down to the local market and cleaned them completely out of children's book bags, notebooks, and other supplies for the children in five local schools. He had to hire a taxi just to hold everything. I made sure to tell Joel to bring his camera along, not just to prove that he delivered, but to show his customers what's possible with a little hard work and a lot of faith. When you give someone a chance, sometimes they're not who you thought they were. Sometimes they surprise you. And sometimes you end up being the answer to their prayers.